終わらせようか時間が惜しい本番は皆さん、クロネコです。OK, I will only go through about Shumeya, new mementos, and maybe along with the equipment sensor. And then for the rest of the skills, you guys can read through later on during the skill animation part. OK, first thing first, I will go through about her rune set. Well, please equip with this evasion set with anything. Like for example, accuracy. Uh, status resistance, this one. Uh, dex plus 3%, this one. And then with dex plus magic attack. And then with dex or magic attack, up to you. And with critical rate or guards or medicine jewel, up to you. And then physical defense or critical. And then luck or magic defense. And the rest is up to you. And for her prime rune. I have already unlocked up to level 7, but haven't fully maxed yet. Yeah, so basically, if I unlock this one, her herbal status will be even higher. And for the additional bonus, maximum HP and maximum HP um, M attack are uh, dead. And then for the rest of the bonus, please increase her evasion. Or evasion. Yeah, whatsoever evasion. And then maybe some brine resistant or silent resistant should be good enough. And for the Phantom Memory, either increase her accuracy or evasion. Yeah, these two, very simple. And then HP, M attack, and Dex should be the best. And this will be her other status her shooting range plus 3. And then along with the Mementos plus 4. Yeah, very nice. And accuracy, evasion, yeah, very good. And then other evasion. And then magic attack, strong versus human, strong versus all sins, resistant, defend versus human, all attack, strong versus thunder, and elemental resistant, blind status, and status resistant. And try to increase her status resistant with this accessory, yeah, very good. And then debuff resistant. Okay, next is about her dragon effect adjustment. I can't remember if there is other adjustment for the dragon form or human form, but I will not go through them. I will only go through about the weather effect. Yeah, which is very good. Add the extra, some versus all elemental, area attack, and move debuff notified, and also increase the shooting range to 2. Yeah, super power. But then, this debuff is still the same. Yeah, no difference. But at least with the 100% hit notified, which is already very good. Yeah, so basically more attack power for the win unit. Especially very good for the shooting attacker. Yeah, rich plus 2. Pretty cool. And next is about her new limited mementos with this Christmas skin. It's really very nice. But when she transforms into her dragon form, it doesn't have any changes. It's only about the human form. And then it will increase her accuracy plus that. Yeah, so basically very good against some evasion unit. And then also increase shooting range. And best part about this mementos is Vigilability. Especially, she can drain the enemy accuracy and evasion. As well as push them away by 4 square and by status. Really very good. Especially if there is multiple enemy within the area, so that she can drain more status. Like for example, if there is one enemy, she will drain 30 evasion. Two enemy, 60 evasion. Three enemy, 90 evasion. Yeah, so the more and more. Same goes to accuracy, more and more. But then, this skill is not 100% hit and doesn't ignore Rasha ability, so beware. Not so suitable against maybe Niguru. Yeah, Niguru evasion is insane. Other than that, I think she can hit most of the evasion unit. Besides, some avoid Rasha ability. Yeah, that is special case. 
And next is about her new Memento Skier accessory. Also very good. More evasion. 15. And then with Slash, Pierce, Shooting, Magic Evasion, 20. And also greatly increase the Dex, plus speed. Yeah, so this accessory is the best. And then if you are lucky, you can increase her evasion, plus 5. More evasion. But right now, I increase her accuracy. Yeah, also okay. And for her weapon ability, it's also very good for all win unit. All of them will have speed buff for 3 turns from the start, include herself. Yeah, so basically, if you include leader skill that increase her speed by 10%, most likely, she will activate her dragon effect from the start very early. Unless the enemy has the ability to remove the dragon effect, otherwise, most likely she'll be using the dragon effect first. Yeah, very nice. And next is about this accessory from her own mementos. As I remember, there is a minor adjustment for this white property. Instead of her evasion gradient increase until she evade for one time, become three times. Yeah, so if you guys are lucky, her evasion rate might hit more than 300. Yeah, so basically, please equip these two accessory, and then with any accessory you like. But right now, I equip with this one, Status Resistor. Uh, for the alternate choice, you can equip her with this accessory from Lilu Mementos because of accuracy up and even HP up. Yeah, not really that bad. Or maybe with this free accessory from the previous Christmas event, thanks to Academy Freeze and more HP, but reduce her fire resistance and jump. Or maybe with this armor that will increase her strike evasion. Yeah, so far her mementos or whatever doesn't increase the strike evasion. Yeah, not that bad against Dindrick. Okay, so that's all about the information about her new mementos. And if I am not wrong, during the anniversary, all the mementos that is from the ancient will have leader skill. Yeah, finally. So basically, her leader skill might be very good, especially for evasion unit. And then if you guys want to fully utilize her, please get her two mementos, especially Christmas mementos. Yeah, but then her first mementos is also good because of the gear. Yeah, so Dai Dai must get, no choice. And for the next part of the video, I will show her skill animation, skill description, and even arena. Thank you for watching this video. See ya, Senara.
は解き放たん先へと駆けたその果てに何が待っていようと我が火が出ろというのは今解き放たん始まりの風よ終わらせようか時間が押し終わらせようか時間が押し一瞬をつけましょう我が寛容の貴様を貫く強弱その身で味わい面倒ごとを早めの手を切り取ってあげる始まりのためよ新たな始まりを目指して我が寛容の貴様を貫く何者にも止められやしないさ先へとかけて何が待っていようとも強者にその身で味わったある